Hey YouTube, welcome to the final episode on the binomial expansion where the power is an integer. So let's just get right into some binomial problems. Now when the binomial expansion gets much more difficult, generally they like you to expand up to the x squared term and then sometimes they ask you to find the coefficient of x cubed as well. But the general trend is that they don't make you expand too much. So here it says given that the function y1 is 1 minus x, 2 plus 3x to the power of 5, and y2 is ax squared plus bx plus c, and that when x is small, y2 can be used as an approximation for y1. Find the values of a, b, and c. So it's saying, for small values of x, this function here can be used as an, as an approximation for this one. And we can clearly see y2 is a quadratic. There's no brackets. So there's an expansion that has happened up to the term x squared. So all we need to do is we need to expand y1 up to the x squared term. Now, the first bracket here is just 1 minus x. So there's no expanding needed. But the second term is power 5. So we do need to expand that binomially. So we need the coefficients. So we're going to write them down. We have 5 choose 0, which would be 1. We have 5 choose 1, which would be 5. Then we just need to double check what 5 choose 2 would be, is 10. And then we can do our expansion for 2 plus 3x to the power of 5. So it would be 1 times 2 to the power of 5, and then it will be 3x to the power of 0, plus 5, 2 to the power of 4, 3x to the power of 1, plus 10, 2 to the power of 3, 3x squared. And now we just need to type all of this in the calculator. So remember, we don't need to do any more than this because we're only going up to the x squared term. Now we need to do our full expansion for y1. So y1 would be that 1 minus x times this expansion, 32 plus 240x, 720x squared. Then it keeps going. Now we only need to expand all the relevant terms up to x squared. So you're going to do 1 times everything. Then I like to line things up. So when we do minus x times everything, that'll give us minus 32x. I'm going to write it underneath. And then we're going to get minus 240x squared. And you don't need to do any more. Because if you did minus x times this last term, that's going to give you a cubic, which we're not interested in. So when we expand it, or add it, sorry, we're going to get our y2. So we get 32. Then 240 minus 32 is 208x, then 720 minus 240 is 480x squared. Part B, find the percentage error in using y2 as an approximation for y1 when x is 0 0.1. So we're going to sub in x is 0 0.1 into y1 and y2. So the easiest way to do this is to store values. So the quickest way to sub in 0 0.1 is to do 0 0.1, press this store button, and store it as the letter A. So when we sub into Y1, wherever I see X, I'm just going to replace it with the letter A. So then I just sub in 0 0.1 directly. So we get 2 plus 3A to the power of 5. And there's our number. So that's when we sub it into y1. Now I'm going to store that value as well so I can use it later. So we press the store button and b. Now let's go ahead and sub into y2. So y2 was 32 plus 208x, which we've stored as a, plus 480a squared. So you get a bit of a nicer number there. So the y1, which we subbed in, I'm just going to write down here that we stored it as b, just for memory. I stored that as b. But y2, when we subbed into the quadratic, was 57.6. So to work out the percentage error, we work out the difference between the two. So I'm going to do what I stored as b minus that 57.6. And then we divide it by what the actual value is. The actual value is what we subbed in as b. And then we times it by 100. So our percentage error here is approximately, when they don't say, just do three significant figures, so 565%.
Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying the video. If you're new here and you want more maths content, then please consider subscribing. If you're learning something, then hit that like button and comment down below to let me know what you want to learn next. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Next exam type question says, the first two terms in the expansion of 1 plus ax to the power of 18 minus 1 plus bx over 3 to the power of 18, and the sending powers of x are 18x and 459x squared, find the value of a and b. So we need to expand both. So because they're both power 18, why do we write down what those coefficients would be? So 18 choose 0 would be 1, 18 choose 1 would be 18. Then we just need to write down what 18 choose 2 would be, so 153. So we can do the expansion. So 1 plus ax to the power of 18 would be 1 times 1 to the power of 18 times ax to the power of 0, then 18, 1 to the power of 17, ax to the power of 1 plus, and you see we're only going up to x squared here, so it'll be 1, 5, 3, 1 to the power of 16, ax to the power of 2. Then it just keeps going, but we only need this many terms. So doing the same with 1 plus bx over 3, we have to be a bit more careful with this one. So it's 1 to choose, then 1 to the power of 18, then bx over 3 to the power of 0, 18, 1 to the power of 17. So the only thing that's changing is what we're subbing in for x. This will be power 1, then we have 1, 5, 3, then it'll be 1 to the power of 16, bx over 3 squared, plus dot dot dot. What does that simplify to? Now, the question says we're taking them away. So when we take them away, the ones cancel, which is why they have said that the first two terms are 18x and 459x because they already knew that the ones would cancel. Now when we take them away, we want to explicitly write down what the coefficient of x would be. The coefficient of x would be 18a minus 6b. Then we have x. You're basically just factorizing out the x. Then we have 153a squared minus 17b squared x squared. So now we can say that the coefficient of x, because you can see the it says 18x. The coefficient 18a minus 6b is 18. And 153a squared minus 17b squared equals 459. And this is just simultaneous equations. So for the first one, we obviously want to rearrange um, the linear one. So we're going to divide through by 6. So 3a minus b is 3. So b is 3a minus 3. Now we're going to plug into the quadratic. And now we're going to expand everything. So once everything is expanded, you can see actually that the 153a squareds cancel. And we're going to move this to that side. 612. I'm just going to remember that. Then we need to do 612 divided by 306. So a is uh, 2. And then don't forget b. b is 3a minus 3. So 3 times 2 is 6 minus 3. b is 3. So this would be regarded as a tougher AS uh, binomial expansion question, just because it's quite technical with the A's and the B's. But in general, it's not that bad. It's just heavy, heavy on the algebra. So that's it, guys. That's the binomial expansion where the powers are integers. Stay tuned for the next set of lessons where I'm going to go through trigonometry. So you don't want to miss it. If you learn something, please hit that like button and subscribe if you want more maths content. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Peace. Yeah.